Um, so this is my example of where you get it equal to zero, but it's not a point of inflection, okay? The last example is one, again, which you already know, but I wanted to point out to you. You can turn back, if you like, in your working, to where you drew the cube root of x. Remember that guy? You still have it in your books, but I don't have it on my whiteboard, so I'm just going to quickly redraw it. <clears throat> All right, again, now think about the cup and which way it's facing, right? Just make a geometric argument with me for a second. To the left of the origin, to the left of x equals 0, concave up or down? Clearly up, right? When you have a look, <coughs> excuse me, on this side, the concavity has changed. Okay? So being that concavity has changed, I don't actually care about what's happening there. Like I exist. The function is continuous, okay? The second derivative doesn't exist there, there's a discontinuity, but it doesn't matter. The function exists, there's a point there, and the concavity changes on either side. So therefore that is a point of inflection. Now, how do you find that? Like, you can't use this method to find that point of inflection, so how do you do it? Very good. You need to think about, remember we looked at this last week, think about critical values, right? This is why they are a useful category. Here's the function, right? Rehearse with me again how we get the first and second derivatives. What is the first? A third, a third x, x to the... Minus Okay, I'm just going to be a bit lazy, I'm just going to leave it like that so that I can differentiate again. Which gives me? Uh, minus 2 on Multiply, nine. minus 2 on 9, x, x to the? Uh, minus 5. Good. Is it a sign? A sign. Okay, sure. Now, you can see, right, again, I'm not going to bother writing it like that, but this implies the x term is on the denominator, so there's a discontinuity, okay? That's all I need to know. Something happens. Something interesting happens, right? If there's a discontinuity, now I know I need to look for a change in concavity. And I will do that. I'll do that. I'll say, okay, well, let's, let's test out half, half, or a quarter, right? I'm going to test my values. I'm going to go x, second derivative, right? Um, I, at zero, there's a discontinuity. Okay, so some people often put a star there. Please do not put zero there because the second derivative is not zero. Okay, but to the left and to the right, left and to the right, what's going to happen? Minus two over nine times what? What is this number going to be? Minus one. It's minus, minus one to the power of minus five over three. What? Why is this one? Six. Six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's gonna, it's gonna, like, it's minus one to the power of negative five. And then you cube root it. Which is minus one. It's minus one. It's an odd sum. Because it has minus one. I'm just going to pause for a second. The reason why I'm not saying anything is because I already know what sign the answer is going to be. But you're all telling me something else. Okay? You have a calculator there. Come on, what's your calculator? Oh, no, it'd be 1 on 5. It's an 1 on 5 cube. What? 1 on 5 cube. What? Negative 1 on 5 cube. 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 All right? And in exactly the same way, I'll have minus 2 over 9 here. It's concave down. Thanks for confusing all I just needed you to get it, not because I said, oh, well done. <laughs> Teacher said it was OK, right? I wanted you to, wait, what? Like, but I know what just happened. You think, 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 OK? Not just because someone told you so. Um, I've, sh I've shown the change in concavity, right? Or rather, the change in the sign of the concavity. Bam, I have a point of inflection, OK? One more thing that's worth mentioning. The reason why I have a point of inflection, I mentioned this before, but I wasn't all that big about it, is because there is a point, the function is continuous, 
right? The function is continuous. You can't have a point of inflection where you don't have a point, okay? So for example, this guy, <laughs> where have I got space on my crowded board? How can you not have a point? Well, it's not that hard to think of an example. What is the <coughs> equation do you think of this guy? This is the standard rectangular hyperbola, 1 over x, right? You don't need me to tell you. You don't need to compute the first and second to do this to show there's concave up and then there's concave down. Hey, cool, I can make a table just like this. And there'll be a star there because it doesn't exist at zero. There's concave down, there'll be negative, and concave up, positive. Have I got a point of inflection? No, because I don't have a point, right? There's no place to say, oh, there it is. It doesn't exist. There's a discontinuity in the function itself. Whereas here, the function itself is continuous. So there's no point of inflection in this Because there is no point. 